How do you guys view Africa? Depending on the way that you answer this question, we'll say a lot about how the media portrays Africa. And in this video, we'll be exploring the different sides of Africa, which the media shows you and which the media doesn't show you. I'll show you guys plenty of different landscapes, both good and bad. And I'll just be giving you guys an overview of what is there, what there's out there to be done in Africa. So first we got the pyramid, we got the Sudanese pyramids, you know what I'm saying? Have to show you guys, this is the side of Africa you don't know. Most people don't even know that these pyramids even exist, you know? And you would obviously would tell that looking at my, if you look through my channel, that this would be the first thing that I show you. Such a great piece of history. Always great. You guys know, you guys can take, you know, take a, a plane trip to Khartoum. You guys can see all this good African history right here. You can see these pyramids built by the 25th dynasty kings of ancient Egypt, the Kushite kings of ancient Egypt. Here are statues of them right here. And guys, this is, this is just a nice looking place. You know what I mean? Again, they never show you guys this, you know, because the media likes to portray Africa in a very negative light. And so now I'm going to be bringing you guys to a look at South Sudan, you know, because this is a place where they like to portray the negative so much. It's just, it's just, it's just truly tragic. You know what I'm saying? So let me, I think I just, so here's South Sudan. Every single time you, like when I look at South Sudan, you don't really see too much good. Now South Sudan actually has a really good landscape. It's very green. There's the Nile River. Things are very tropical, you know what I'm saying? Things are very tropical, so it all looks nice. But if I search up South Sudan, all you're gonna see is the big headlight, big headlights, what's on the news, what's trending, um, and all that's been trending in South Sudan for the media is war, refugees. This is all they show you about Africa. They like to show you this. They like to show you this. They like to show you stuff like this. Soldiers, people going into battle, Poverty, refugees, etc. They never, they never want to show you the good. And I'm, I'm gonna give my disclaimer too. It's a little bit late. I've never been to Africa. I've never been to South Sudan. My dad right now, he's currently in South Sudan. You know, so prayers to, you know, what I'm saying like, you know, hope he's safe. But this is all the media likes to show about South Sudan. Is you know. All, this is all the media likes to show. Badness going on. Child marriage is an issue. They they only want to show the negatives. And you know, they this is all what they they run around let they let people run around thinking that this is the true Africa. You know, they don't they don't say that these people are descendants of people who built who built this. And even this, the Pyramid Hotel, this is in Juba, South Sudan. They don't, nobody will ever tell you that um, this exists. I don't even know, I don't even think a lot of South Sudanese people even know that this place exists. You know what I'm saying? It's a luxury, luxury hotel. Probably, it's probably one of the best hotels in out, out of also the South Sudan. It's probably the best place. But it's a good looking place. You guys can see, look, just look at these pictures. Looks really nice, lit up very well. If you guys can still hear me, my phone just went, my phone um, storage just ran out. But yeah, um, now we're gonna go take a look at Morocco. Again, this is another place, Morocco is actually a pretty good looking place. Shout out to all my Moroccans out there. You know what I'm saying? Like, look at these neighborhoods, you know? I, this is, I, I, I'd love to go here so for a vacation or for traveling. Morocco is definitely on that list. These these kind of remind me of those um, the Nubian villages in like southern Egypt. They look really good. They're really colorful. I haven't seen places in Cape Town that look like this, where they have that colorful vibe. It's a nice looking place, you know. Again, this is this is all again. This is all in Africa. Most people they they don't want to show you this, you know, and. I won't even lie, I don't even think it's just Africa, it's with a lot of places too, unless they're, they're a superpower. You know, the American media, the Western media doesn't like to show show them in a good light. 
Like th- th- this is absolutely wonderful, man. I would love to spend to have a vacation here. I'd l- I'd love to- I'd love to go here. You know, didn't mean to do that, but yeah, you know. And now we're gonna let's take let's take a look at a new place, Somalia. You know, when I look at when you look up Somalia, you know, again it's the same thing. They they show you hunger. And again, guys, this is I, I gotta tell you guys on um, another disclaimer. This is not to ignore the bad stuff that is happening. You know, I believe we should we should help. You know what I'm saying? And this is something you know we should also keep in mind. You know, so 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 don't get me wrong. Like yeah, this this it's important to show these things. And it's important that us as Africans improve our country. But again, the this is the media. The media doesn't help promote you to help them. They promote they really they don't even do it from the side where it's like from a standpoint which oh you should help these people. They do it from a standpoint as these people are bad, these people are crazy, these people are wise, these people are hopeless. They do the same thing with South Sudan. You know? There are some organizations out there who do want to help. And to those organizations, you know, I, I appreciate them. And I respect them, you know, but some people that, you know, they just want to spread negative. You know, this, this is why even Africans too, they make fun of each other's country. Whenever they see stuff like this going on in each other's countries, they, they make fun of each other. You know, we need to help build each other up. But when you look at the Somalian beaches, I think that was the thing I accidentally They're probably some of the best beaches in Africa. You know what I'm saying? Like, just look at that. Just look at that. This is another place I'd come to. You know, maybe yeah. You know, maybe if Somalia was a little less dangerous, same thing was like. I I'd love to go there. You know, go to one of the safe areas. Somalia is a place of um good history too. You know, it's where Point ancient Point was. So shout out to all my Somalian brothers, you know. But um, yeah, man. Like Somalia, it's a, it's a really nice looking place. Like, look at this, man. Very nice place. Looks amazing. I think it would be a good place, you know. Obviously, with the with the and I and I might be looking at this from the Western perspective, like I I just told you guys not to. But again, my this time I haven't been to these places, but. Other than you know the safety, cons- like this is like they never show you that Africa looks this beautiful. You know, Africa looks this nice. You know, all these good looking palm trees, the nice looking sand, the clear water. You know, it's re- it's really it's really a nice place. You know, naturally. This is without any infrastructure. You know, I won't say without any infrastructure, but you know, it's not it's not way too much, and it still looks nice. You know, we're not. The land naturally looks nice. I'm not um taking a dig at anybody who decides to build infrastructure on the land. You know. What I'm gonna say how it is. Somalia is just an, a naturally good looking country. You know? But yeah, that's that's it for today guys. Um for more content like this, you know, you should like care you should like, share, comment, and subscribe. Um, I'll definitely do my best to up the quality on these, both on my side and on the um, electronic side. Get my quality up, get my speech better. But you know, I'm, I'm just getting used to this YouTube thing, so you know the the improvement will come as time progresses. 